Now last week you watched us pull somewhere between three and 400 feet of wire through this van. It was a monster job, but we got it all put together. It's not wired down on the end yet. We'll save that for later. But now it is time for us to start cladding things. The last thing I left you with was putting in the insulation now that all the wires are pulled through and all the circuits have been tested. And I went to the hardware store this morning and got the last uh, materials that we're gonna need to start putting these ceiling panels in. I don't really know how this is gonna go. I've got a loose plan of how I'm gonna get it to go all nice and square. This end's gonna give me trouble. Just like most things, I'm not gonna know until I just start. It's off to start cutting our ceiling panels for the van here. You say I should journal every day, but I don't. You say if I like it, you Okay, this first panel is by far the hardest one because I'm starting at the curved part at the back of the van and I've got to cut out the hole for the ceiling fan as well as lights. The other ones will just have lights and the van kind of curves out. And rather than trying to scribe all that, I'll trim it to cover the gap. So I'm making square panels that will have a little bit of gap on the ends as much as maybe half an inch, but I'll put a three quarter board over it. It's gonna look great. The trickiest thing here is basically to make all of the lights symmetrical. I need to get them all consistently spaced, but you can't just measure from the side because the side curves. So what I've done is I'm marking the midpoint on my furring strips that go across the van, and then I'm measuring my panel based on the dimensions I got, and I'm marking the midpoint on it. And so I'm then offsetting all of my cuts for where the, the lights go based on that midpoint, if that makes sense. So I'm measuring from the middle out rather than from the outside in. Cause in the moment it feels like you're squelching my right. Do you guys think it's risky to try my new tool to cut this hole out in the panel? In the last video, I brought home this blade runner. It's a like a like a like a tabletop jigsaw table saw thing. It's awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna try cutting my piece out with it. You know what could go wrong? What I Is this a dumb idea? All right, that's amazing. It only got dicey when I had basically cut the whole panel out here. Oh my god, it's it.
feel like it's gonna work with the first panel from a look perspective. But now I'm gonna find out if I can actually pull off lining everything up. Getting hot in here, guys. It's like we insulated this thing or something. Oh, it's gonna work. Headliner here to help hold this up will be an advantage. It was a real pain in the ass the first time around. You Are kidding me? You hey, at least when you hit your head on the ceiling now, you just like drag across it instead of hitting the beam. Guys, I've decided there's enough room for a bat of insulation in there, so I'm going for it. had something interesting planned. Now, originally this part of the van had plastic, plastic plugs that go into this recessed area in the headliner. I wanted maybe a slightly better color, but I went with stainless steel, big washers. They're gonna fit that area perfectly. Dang, look at that. That does fit perfectly. And stainless screws. And so basically I'm just gonna screw this through the new ceiling piece and into the board that I put up there. And that's our headliner. It's gonna be all like super flush and trimmed up with the whole thing. It's, it's gonna be awesome. This is gonna be great. Here it is. Obviously this is not the permanent location of the light switch. It's gonna be in the cabinet that hasn't been built yet. But this will keep me from stepping on it or rolling over it in the meantime. You guys ready to turn these lights on? This is so good. They look so much better with a ceiling. Check that out. This is exciting, guys. That was so much work. Okay, I'm gonna clean this van up, go get some dinner, call it for the night. This is awesome. I forgot I also wanna do the shroud for the fan. Let's 
see if that worked. All right. Perfect. It's so dope, you guys. Got my switches. Ooh, let's go low light mode. Damn. Moody movie mode. It's like a movie theater. One more. One more. Full brightness. Full brightness. What if we're what if we're full bright in the back? Nothing in the front. Chill zone. I don't know. This is great. I love lighting zones. Of course I have some in the van. I decided to take this thing for a little drive. Partly because it's just been sitting there for like two weeks. And you know how much big vehicles hate that. And the other part because I want to hear what it sounds like, you know? As soon as we got this thing, we ripped everything out and it sounded like a big empty metal box. But now the headliner's insulated, the ceiling's insulated. We don't have the interior walls up, but there's insulation stuffed in those walls. And I'm hoping it's a real quiet experience. I don't know why that light's on back there in the back. I wish you guys would figure that out. The whole ceiling? Are you ready? Twist that knob over there. <gasps> really? Yeah. I just had the power oh, turned off. Oh, it's so bright! This is good that it's nighttime because you can actually. You can actually oh check God. it out. Is it okay to step on the floor, Dad? Yeah, come on in there. Well, you got murdered by the Jeep the other day. I love that you can stand in there, Henry. I bet next year I'm just gonna bonk my head. Well, don't click it. There you go. <gasps> Fight mode. Fight mode, dim mode. It does do weird things when you have the two dimmers going. But it's probably fine. It's fine. I fixed most of the wiring gremlins.